The Timeless Landscape by Sir Lore. You're traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. Hello, this is Sir Lore, and in this video we're going, to be, we're going to be talking about time and motion in uh, photography. And uh, we're going to be discussing stop action, motion blur, youth, nostalgia, and decay. This first photo, which I took here in Austin, Texas, um, is stop action. And in this photo, uh, which was taken at 1 250th of a second, uh, was enough to stop this uh, young man's action while flying through the air on a bicycle. And now in this second photograph, which is done by a professional photographer, uh, this used a strobe, um, a very fast speed to actually stop, not only stop, the bicycle in midair, but also to uh, put a, a light on it, um, which is a kind of a new way, of, had a new very fast strobe that allowed him to accomplish uh, this feat. And uh, so the stop action shows just that, how something you really can't see with the naked eye, and that's why I use this twilight zone uh, as a reference in the beginning, because it's something new uh, that we can't see with our naked eye. Now in this next photograph, uh, we're showing uh, motion blur. And in this photograph, I moved the camera to follow uh, the young man while he was on his bike. So the camera was moving, so you can see the blur in the trees in the background. Um, but he is pretty much um, stable and not moving. Um, you can see the tire spokes uh, in blur. And you can see the trees in the background, and just very slightly uh, is he in blur. I tried to get catch him uh, not moving. So this would be the motion blur where some aspect of the photo of the photograph is still uh, clear. Thank you. In this next photo by Lou Erlin, uh, again showing motion blur. Uh, in this particular photo, he did a different technique where he actually um, zoomed in and out with a zoom lens to give this very interesting uh, and dynamic effect uh, with the camera. And now in this next photo, which we'll get, I'm going to have him representing youth, even though it's another bicyclist in stop action, uh, there is something about the uh, kind of the reckless abandon of youth uh, that this photo represents. Um, generally think of youth as babies, but uh, here's a young, oh, maybe a 16-year-old kid, um, and they just have uh, no fear, and just wild. Here he is, you know, quite a few feet off the ground, spinning his front tire around, just being totally carefree, and uh, we kind of think of it as reckless, but I guess you can look at it as being carefree and also quite talented. And so there's another picture, there's a picture of youth. And in this next photo, also of youth, we have a, a young girl and just she really uh, exhibits uh, that, again, wild abandon, totally happy and totally free uh, while she's riding on that swing. And this is also an example of uh, motion blur uh, and stop action uh, that was captured by a professional photographer. This next photo is of a small country town uh, north uh, east of Austin, Texas. And I use this photo to uh, convey the idea of nostalgia. And it's an old pie shop and cafe in this small town. And then some of the things that we can do in camera is uh, kind of texture it and 
change the color a little bit, make it a monotone, monochrome uh, photograph. And uh, I feel this kind of conveys the idea of nostalgia. And, and this next photo uh, by myeasttexas.com. Uh, it's just an old water wheel log cabin that was restored uh, from the old days in the old west. And I think this uh, effectively, uh, just by the nature of the product itself, uh, it represents nostalgia, even though it's a modern photograph. And this uh, next photo is one I took in uh, just north of Austin. It was a clear, bright day, some clouds, but mostly clear day uh, in the winter. And it represents decay. You see the water tank broken, the windmill broken, and the shed in the background decaying. Um, it's just an old abandoned ranch. So also in this photo, I, I added texture uh, to the sky and also some color uh, to make it look old, uh, to emphasize uh, decay um, in, this photo in this photograph. And in this final photo, again, an old abandoned ranch where you see it's barely, it looks like it's barely being held up. Uh, also with a windmill and dying trees. Uh, this was taken more, it looks like at dusk, whereas the last photo was taken uh, pretty much at midday. And so all these photos represent aspects of time um, and, and, and the power of our camera to, to stop the action, something we can't normally see to blur the motion of a camera, to show uh, youth, uh, to remember our youth, to remember the old, the good old days, nostalgia, and to show and emphasize uh, decay. And so thank you for watching a little, my little video on the timeless landscape. Thank you very much.